Can you tell we're in a bit of a tech news drought still? But listen though, I've been doing some digging and I've got all of today's news in this little tiny itsy bitsy bag from Movement that they sent out to me. Thank you, Movement. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and jump in. Drop a like if you're excited. Hit subscribe for more. And we're, let's just go ahead. Guys, I, we're not gonna do an intro in this video. I'm feeling that stable today. But we are gonna take a quick look at the newest episode of Genius Bar, my podcast with John Prosser. We have so much fun. Here's a quick clip from the latest episode. Link is below. Oh, I just spit <laughs> on my monitor. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh. oh I'm, you I'm know returning what? this. I need a towel. I need a towel. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'm back. Hold on. Guys, what's the next ad? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you about Code Code Academy. I need a towel. Listen. Let's just go right into the little bag. Can we get can we get bag cam? Hold on. Ooh, what's it gonna be? This is the first story. A piece of paper that says iOS. Yeah! Now, you might be wondering, well, what does that mean? What does it mean? I didn't know how to fit iOS in this bag, so I just said, let's put it on a piece of paper and let's talk about how you can get iOS 15 right now. Yesterday, actually, ahead of schedule, Apple released the iOS 15 public beta, which means you no longer need a developer account or special access to get it. You just go to beta.apple.com that's beta.apple.com. Guys, should I do like voice work? I feel like I feel like I could do it. It really is that easy though. You go to beta.apple.com. This sounds like an ad. I promise it's not. It's just like you go there, you sign up with your Apple ID, you install the developer profile, and then you're gonna be getting updates basically every two to three weeks on your phone. And you're gonna be like just a couple days behind the developer beta, which is like the cutting edge, the latest changes and you also have to pay $100 for the developer beta. So if you've been wanting to try iOS 15 early, if you've seen my videos on it, of which I've made a number of them, and you're like, I kinda wanna see if this feature is that good, the new FaceTime stuff, SharePlay, Mac OS 12 Monterey, AirPlay, but just be warned, I wanna put this out here because I've seen a lot of people just spamming how to get iOS 15 without any disclaimer. This is a beta update, okay? Your battery life is going to be worse. There is no chance that the battery life is the same as you're getting now. I have noticed some significant battery on beta 1 and beta 2 is decently better but like that and bugs will be present so especially for ios 15 which i've had the most experience with it's great it's fun i'm sure you're gonna love it just know that it's a beta now what else is in here oh my god is that is that we vpn you guys know the vpns help you stay safer and more anonymous online and there's a reason i use we vpn instead of everybody else the guys over at we vpn are a group of industry veterans that left all the other vpn companies doing sketchy stuff with your data in order to make a product that not only gets better every week but that also cares about you on top of that we vpn allows you to unblock content on now more than 350 streaming services around the world meaning you can watch shows that aren't usually available in your area i've used this and it's so cool and Right now, there's a crazy deal happening. The summer sale is live, which means that for a limited time, you can get 74% off and three months of free service when you purchase a two-year plan. That's just $2.59 a month. And on top of that, when you use code IUPDATE, you get an additional 10% off. Listen, there's a reason that I continue to work with WeVPN each and every single week, and it's because I use it and I believe in it. If you guys like what I do here on YouTube, then head over to wevpn.com slash IUPDATE and get started today. Now, while you guys were gone, I did some quick uh, bag restructuring just so we have even easier access. Now let's go ahead and look at what else is in here. Oh, we got some good stuff. Is that, is that we VPN again? You guys are like, is he gonna do another ad? No, I'm not gonna do that to you. But I am gonna find, is this an, a new Apple product leaked exclusive? I broke into the Foxconn factory and stole it? No. That wasn't me. For real though, there are an insane amount of new Apple products that were just released about a day and a half ago. And I can't believe that we saw 22 new things in the middle of the summer. But boy, howdy, did we? We're talking about the new Olympic Apple Watch bands. And Apple did this back in 2016, and the bands then were super cool, but back then they were extremely exclusive. They were limited to certain Apple Store locations, like in Brazil for the Olympics. This time, though, they're making them publicly accessible at Apple Stores in select locations, but also to anybody in the world when you go to apple.com. Again, this sounds like another ad. It's not. I get paid $0 from Apple, even though 
I should be kind of raking it in. I mean, my whole channel is basically an ad for the entire year. And Apple's doing it again in 2021 for the upcoming Olympics. Obviously, they got delayed because of COVID. They're coming back. And there are 22 Apple Watch bands with all kinds of different country flags from China, US, Germany, uh, some other cool countries out there as well. And you can buy all these, they're 50 bucks. They're variations of the sport loop band. And honestly, I feel like Apple could have charged more considering these are limited edition, but they're, they're 50 bucks. So you could get the entire collection for just, Hey Siri, what's 50 times 22? 50 times 22 is 1,100. $1,100. I mean, no YouTuber but me could do that mental math. Listen, they're okay. I think they're cool. But yeah, 22 new Apple products. That wasn't clickbait. See? I'm an honest guy making an honest living, which brings us in to story number three. Oh no, I dropped my bag. I'll have to unzip it on camera. Wow, oh man, there's just so much stuff in here. Whoa, this could fit in the bag? I don't know. What? The iPad Pro? We got an iPad story today? Boy, do we. Not actually about the iPad Pro though, it's about the iPad Air, of which Apple did a major revamp for in late 2020 at their September Time Flies event. It was actually at the same event we got the new Apple Watches last year. Myself, I've been wondering how often is Apple gonna update this iPad Air because they seem like they've been on a couple years schedule not doing it every year like a new iPad Pro or the base iPad the new Apple Watches, the new iPhones. It's an every so often type of update. And again, that's what Apple is doing here according to the ELAC. This new report, which is 75% credible, says that we will be getting a new iPad Air or specifically a new 10.86 inch iPad in 2022. And there's only one iPad right now that has that size to the, the like millimeter and, and that's the new iPad Air. This matches up with Apple's historic update schedule, but there's a twist here because not only are we just getting a new iPad Air with like a new processor and a slightly the upgraded camera, it's gonna have OLED on the inside. I guess technically on the outside because it's the screen, but an OLED display on the iPad after Apple just put mini LED. Can we get the screen to come on, please? Can, can we, who's running this thing? Of which we just got mini LED on the iPad Pro. So Apple is apparently, this is like the fifth, sixth, seventh time we've heard this now, that Apple is switching the entire iPad line to OLED. So listen, I think it's good that they're doing this. I just don't get why they made a huge jump from LCD to mini LED, the first display tech change on the iPad in history. And then in two years on the iPad Pro, they're switching to OLED and next year, they're switching from LCD to OLED, which I would argue the iPad Air next year in 2022 with OLED will have a significantly better display than anything on any other iPad, which is a bit odd. But you know what? I can't even complain that much because OLED's great. It's coming to the iPad. What more can I say? iPad Air 2022, iPad Pro OLED 2023. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, is there anything else left in here? No, we're all out for this episode, but I hope you guys are doing well. The screensaver definitely means it's time to get going. So I hope you're doing great. I love you guys. See you in the next video. I'm gonna go inside the bag. Should have done this as the intro. It's way better. Okay, I'm gonna go. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>